Well, there's a number, a number of us who have been discussing how to combine efforts and really try to go to the next level. I think we have a lot more strength and capacity than we realize. We need to gain more influence, especially in Washington, than we have. And so there's a lot of things going forward. I think, I think we need to just channel the diaspora's energy and resources towards a better Armenia and better Armenians all around the world. And I think that the mandate is clear. The organizations that exist today have to be willing to collaborate uh, because clearly they were formed so long ago that they were against a different reality. So how we can bring them together, because starting from scratch doesn't make any sense either. That's a big job and we're just discussing how to do it and urgently, this cannot wait. It's not a question of under whose leadership, it's really a question of under which mission. And I think you know, missions and goals unite people. People sometimes do, sometimes don't. I think we first need a clear understanding of what can be done and how big we should dream and then say what resources do we need. Included in those are people at all levels, including leadership. Um, I think the, the real purpose was to express gratitude to those who've helped us during the genocide and since to recover, as well as to hear messages from a diverse group of people about where we came from and where we're headed. Um, the most gratifying thing was to feel the energy in the room. There was 2,300 people, uh, and just the spirit in the room was palpable. It was forward-looking, optimistic, strong, uh, I'd say confident, and I think we've, we've gained a lot of confidence in this 100th commemoration, and now with lots of anticipation about what comes next. You know, for me, the most inspiring, the most optimistic thing was your involvement. Honestly, I'm very involved in the community, and I did not know you when your name came up. Where were you hiding, and what can you tell us how will you be involved in the future? Well, I, I have been involved in lots of things, but not organizations. I, I do a lot of development work in Armenia. I've gone to Armenia five, six times a year for the last 15 years, started a number of major philanthropic projects, and continue to do that. In the United States, I've only really been involved in helping locally in Boston, the, the, you know, build out our school and various projects. Uh, we have a cultural foundation, the Arasart, that is, that is helping musicians in Armenia. So we do a number of projects, but <clears throat> this is not, this is my, my uh, way of contributing is not through large visible events and organizations. Um, but this was, this was on the 100th centennial, the only reason I did this was because the church leadership asked that I uh, contribute uh, with my with my leadership, and I and I did that. But that's that's neither what I did before, and not what I'll do going forward. Most likely.